Once the Durrani Touch VT22 monitor has been upgraded, um, we can go ahead and install the VDP Connect app. So from the Play Store or the App Store, we're just gonna be searching for VDP Connect. So once that's done, we can just open up that app and just al uh, um, allow everything that it asks for. So access to photos, and allow for notifications. So it's gonna take you to the configuration page for an account. Um, so basically from here, we're just gonna hit the scan button down the bottom and we're gonna scan the QR code that's on the monitor. So just hitting the scan button there and okay to access the camera. We then go to the monitor that we've just upgraded and that is the server button down the bottom in the middle of your screen. So touching that there, that will bring up the page with the QR code. And allow to use microphone, okay. Once we've scanned the QR code, uh, we're online effectively and ready to go. So you'll see up here, I'm actually on the 4G network, not on the local network. And we've got the connected status up the top here as well. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just hit the home button. That there will dial into our door station. So there's a live view of the door station currently as we speak. So the layout here, um, you, we have the speaker button down the bottom, which we can toggle on and off to turn obviously the speaker on the phone on or off. Now we'll just hit the PTT button and that there will open up the audio. So hitting that there, we'll see the PTT come up. So just point your finger on that button there, you'll be able to hear at the front door station. So you can do this at the front door, you'll be able to hear yourself talk and release there. So lock one down the bottom, we'll unlock a lock if there's one connected to your door station, as you see, succeed on the screen. And if you do have a second lock attached to this door station here, we can unlock from there. The button here on the side, uh, that there will toggle between door stations if you have more than one door. We just hit the hang up. So we can also just test this onto the Wi-Fi. So we'll flick off and flick the Wi-Fi on. So now on Wi-Fi, we can just do the same test. So hitting the home button. We'll dial into the door station and we'll see we're on the local network now because we're on the Wi-Fi. And again, same, all the same buttons apply. Um, everything you need to do down here. And we'll just hang that up. So we have a look at a couple of quick settings before we go out and test the door station in, uh, in the app. So hitting the menu button up the top left-hand corner the account is what we've just configured. That's to scan the account onto the phone. Now, just in settings, with the audio, um, it is preset there to be um, effectively the, the best scenario for most installations. However, all um, installs are a little bit different. So you might find you need to change just the microphone gain and the playback gain here, just to reflect uh, any uh, feedback noise or background noise that you may have depending on where your door station is. So we hit the back arrow there. So video, no need to touch anything in here. It'll be set to 264. We just need to leave that there the way it is. Now under call, um, with the um, Apple devices, there's two methods in which um, the app can call you depending on your preferences. So if we select call, we've got the options here. Um, so the, the incoming call timeout, you'll be able to talk for 45 seconds before the monitor effectively hangs up on you. You can change this time here. Um, no need to change the in-call timeout. It's not a use function for, for this scenario. So we've got the option here to accept early media. The door station um, or the, the touch intercom system will try and send a, a picture or a live video of whoever's at the front door uh, before you answer. So you can actually see who's there before you take the call. Uh, that all does come down to the, the Wi-Fi speeds that you've got in your house and the download speeds at the time of where you are. So if you're on 4G in one bar, sometimes you can struggle getting the early media. Um, but again, it just comes down to the network strength. So if early media is on as default, call kit is off. Now call kit, at the uh, default, it'll send you a push notification and early media. With call kit, if I enable that, what that will do is now, instead of sending a push notification, um, we'll demonstrate these in a moment. Instead of sending a push notification, um, it's gonna actually call my phone like a standard phone call. So VDP Connect Home will come up on the screen 
and you can just answer it like a normal phone call. Irrespective of this being on or off, you don't get early media coming through. You just answer it, and then obviously you get the video of whoever's there. So we'll demonstrate the push notification, its default setting. So I'll just arrow back and we'll go back to the home screen. So I'll just ring the doorbell. And what we get there, so that there is at the moment ringing the internal monitor and calling my phone at the same time. So we're on the Wi-Fi network here. Um, so we get the, the early media. So I haven't actually answered the call yet, but down here I can hit answer. That will load up the uh, door station and now I can just have a conversation um, w with whoever's there. Uh, I can unlock doors with whoever's there. So if you've got a gate or a front door, whatever you have, and then we can hang up that call there. So we'll test the same thing on 4G just to show. So on the 4G networking, exactly the same situation. We'll ring that front doorbell again. So as we see, we get the push notification come through and we do get the early media here. And again, I can just um, answer that one as needed and then have all the functions here on the screen as we've already been through. So if I go into the settings up the top here, and call, now if I turn the call kit on, so irrespective of having early media on or off here, I, I don't get the early media coming through. So we'll demonstrate what the call kit does now. So ring the front doorbell. The actual phone rings as, as it would a normal phone call. So here it is here. So I can either accept or hang up. So with a push notification, you normally just get like a ding. With this, it's a better notification as such because obviously ringing your phone instead. So if I can answer that call, it takes me to the same page where I get the media up on the screen and all the same features down below here. So we'll just hang that one up there. So this can be connected to multiple phones. You just scan that QR code. Um, three phones is our recommendation for the maximum. You can go a couple more, but sometimes it might have an issue with the, with the push notifications if you're doing it to more, more phones. So if we hang that up down the bottom. So whoever effectively answers the call first hangs up from everybody else. Only one person can take the call, whether it be at the monitor or one of the connected mobile phones. So also on the app down here, so we've just been through the monitor part. So now we have the history as well. So we can go into the history and it will show exactly what's happened on this, uh, this door station. So we can see that we've unlocked um, time and date stamp for the unlocking, uh, who's been calling. So we can flick through and actually just narrow it down for the monitors and the unlocking. Or that there is all. So that's the history of it there and back down to go to monitor. So that's effectively it for the app. So obviously it works in sleep mode as well. Um, that's all we need to know. If you have any further questions or queries, uh, just give your installer a call um, or alternatively, you can contact us at support at Thank you for watching.